So these were the inaugural ball. Yeah. These were the balls for the first cup fight, World Cup yeah. final, 1930. Yeah. I know this story. Tell me. Tell me. They, Argentina they, and Uruguay. Yeah. And they both they played with different balls in their countries, so yeah. they thought it was an un unfair advantage for one team to have it for the whole game. So they played it 45 minutes with each ball. Brilliant. And I think Argentina started and they were winning, and then Uruguay won it. Brilliant. Or two, and that was two and a half time. Yeah. Which one's which, though? That's Uruguay. Okay. This is the 11 panelled T shaped yeah. ball, which is yeah. showing how you make it there, yeah. and this is the 12 panel That's Argentinian. Right. Which is a great story. There was a massive difference, though, aren't they? But then they're very old. So they're nearly 100 years old. Fun. Have you got any? Um, wow. Well. Have you got any balls? But in your. <laughs> I've you, got two. Have you got match, have you got match balls from, for hat tricks? I have got, yeah. Yeah. I've got a few around, lying around in odd places. The latter stage of my career, the balls got better. They got kind of less heavy. Yeah. And the lighter they are, the, the, the more you prefer them. Because, you know, especially when it's heavy. I mean, imagine kicking that round in heavy conditions. Well, that's, oh, that's why they need a big, <laughs> big tuggy boots like that. But the, the, the balls they play with now, they're, they're, they're lovely. Same with boots. They've got it's light, haven't they? And, and more um, technological. But, yeah. These are George Best's first pair of boots, oh, wow. which he, where he painted the, the, every goal of the team against which he scored every goal. This is when he was a you know, kid before he went to Man United. Um, what was, do you remember your first pair of boots? First pair of boots, Adidas, like Copper Mundial, that oh. kind of. A, I know that. Just spot one over there. I had this pair that I I got in about Christmas at Everton, and I couldn't stop scoring in them. And then we played three games before the end of the season. We played Oxford away and we were like one point ahead of Liverpool. And we got to the Oxford and mm -hmm. there the skiff boots and mine weren't there. Someone had forgot to put them in. So I had to borrow some boots that were like a size and a half too big. We lost one nil. I missed a couple of chances. And then we ended up losing the league by one point. Um, so then at the end of the season, I was so worn out because I played with them solidly that I'd sent them to Adidas and they got them repaired for me for the World Cup. And I played in the World Cup and then after about four games or three, I think it was after the group stage, after I scored the hat trick against Poland, they started to go again and split and there was someone from Adidas came and, and fixed them again for me. And, and then I ended up winning, winning the golden boot with them. And and they're now, I think they're in, a, they're in the Adidas Museum in, in Germany. Do you know about this boot, by the way, the early Adidas Argentina? No, I don't. It's, it's a replica, but it's the, yeah. it's, the, it's the famous miracle of Bern. It's the, it's the 1954 54. Germany Hungary. Yeah. And Germany won because they had um, studs, yeah. screwing studs. Oh. They, could, they could play they in the conditions. Balance and, yeah. 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 That's yeah. right, yeah. No, they, boots are so important. Pelé shirt Pelé. from 1958. 50, so it yeah. is first World Cup. When he was 18. Yeah. 17 or 18? 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, You've got to be old. I mean, even I wasn't born then, even me. So you've got to be really old to remember that. But it would be, I mean, it would be of incredible value. I wish I had it. Did a particular shirt, um, did it make you feel different? I think, you, you know, I played in some really bad kits. Leicester played once in a green kit. I scored a few, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so what was your favourite kit? My favourite kit that mean? I played in? Yeah. Barca, I think. Barcelona. Just because it, it's so right, A bit of both, because it is, isn't it? It's so, so known everywhere. It's such mm. a great kit. And England, because I like white. How do you fancy this? Have you... Have you ca Cameroon. Oh, it? yeah, the, all, the, the onesie. The onesie. The onesie, I remember that. Yeah, it's I, I, I don't know. Well, it saves you tucking it, everything in. But they got <laughs> fined for wearing that. Oh, no, uh, because it, Yeah, and so then this was designed. Well, you, you, you couldn't wear that now. Any, well, you couldn't, you couldn't wear any, I think. I don't know why, because I don't see what... Branding, branding, I think. Oh, right, yeah. But this... And also, you, nowadays, the, they have the handball rule with the bar thing, don't they, on the shirt thing? Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. So yeah, I think, because, you. you know, you just... Okay, that is mad. So you, what you should do is just get long, slightly longer sleeves without the refs knowing. Whoa. That's proper. So you get that, the noise and the thing. It's, it's just, it's just, you know, if... if the thing is, if you can't play in front and, and you're, you're, you're not 
excited by playing in front of huge crowds, then you probably shouldn't shouldn't be playing the game at that level. Did you play ever play in Dortmund? <sighs> I don't think we played in Dortmund in. Um, we had three games in '88 in the Euros. We played Frankfurt. Uh, we don't think we played in Dortmund. And what, what was Frankfurt. the most intimidating crowd you ever encountered? Um, oh, probably oh, intimidating. Um, some good ones. I mean, the Bernabeu for for a Clasico, not necessarily for an ordinary league game. It's quite quiet, a little bit like Bo Bo Barcelona. They need to be. They need to be inspired by the team before they'll get behind you. But in a Clasico, whether it be in the Nou Camp or the Bernabeu, was unbelievable. Oh, and what about um, Merseyside derby? When you play they were amazing. They were great. But they're friendlier, aren't they? I know there's rivalry. There's not. Is there hatred? Not so much hatred. The, the, and well, the, there's a massive difference. That's why I said the Bernabeu. Because if you go like, in a Merseyside derby, you, you, you've got obviously oh, yes. mostly it's the home supporters but there's a lot of away supporters the same in the north london derby the same in the manchester derby They're basically the same in all our derbies the classico which they used to call the derby which i used to say well it's not a derby it's like it's, a, it's an hour fly <laughs> 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 almost and yeah. and they said yeah and they kind of borrowed the world word and then they changed it to classico the, the the atmosphere in the ground was amazing because the first one i ever played was the when i, I scored a hat trick in the new camp and I scored three just after half time. I got the third. We were 3 0 up. It was amazing, the atmosphere. But the first two goals when I scored, so 120,000 people, goosebumps all over me. And then we went 3 0 up. And then with about 20 minutes to go, they scored one. And it was like deathly silence. I thought, oh, it's been disallowed. It couldn't. But actually, there's not a way fan in the ground, not one. And that's the difference where you say that they don't have that, they have that rivalry, but they don't really go to travel away very much. I mean, it's, it's a big country, but they don't have that kind of thing that we have about following your team wherever they play. It's changed a bit. You get much more, much more away fans now than you used to in Spain, but it's still nothing like here. This is the actual one, which yeah. I know, which you've, you've held and won. I have won it, yeah. That's, I didn't win much, but I did win the FA Cup, yeah. 91. Uh, special day. It's a very, very pro uh, prominent, um, distinctive design, isn't it? That I mean, it's quite elaborate, yeah. but it's such a brilliant. Um... It's lovely, yeah. It's beautiful. And uh... I got it's nice because when I when when I left Spurs, um, and Gaza was going to leave as well, they gave us a like, um, after we'd won the FA Cup. I remember uh, Terry Venables on the pitch with Alan Sugar gave us a kind of a replica, small one, which I've still got. Home. Yeah. And Alan Shearer never won it? No. And he won the league, though. I didn't. No, no, he did. I'm not... <laughs> but didn't you go to some elaborate lengths to sort of... Uh... I do that every, pretty much every FA Cup game. But didn't game. you get Wembley to put it on a, on a, on well, a screen? Yeah, that, that was... A, was that last... No, it was when it was, yeah, a couple of years ago we got them to do, yeah. FA Cup wins, Ian Wright, two, me, one, Shearer, nil, wasn't it? <laughs> the, um, the point about Banter. this... <laughs> the point about this yeah. whole Brooks section is, yeah. is how football... Football's always been played in different parts of the world, but it becomes a, the great global game through the mediation of it, through tournaments and then through television. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you think it's, in, it's almost untouchable now as a global sport? Uh, in, in terms of the, there's no other sport that will come no, close I, think, I don't think anything comes close. Um, and why do you think that is? Why do you think it's had this enduring popularity? I, I think because, for, for the reason that, bizarrely, the Americans don't like it, because there are not many goals. Even, it, but it's growing now, the popularity in America as well, because I think the value of a goal in football is so great, it generates that feeling that you don't get really from many sports. Rugby, there's loads of tries. Oh, Basket, yeah, that's basketball good. Basketball ends. and, yeah, you know, yeah. cricket, baseball, yeah, yeah. cricket, there's loads of runs. Um, most of the other sports don't have the... I mean, some people say, oh, that's boring, nil-nil. But if there's... Like one goal is so huge, it's everyone goes crazy, and nothing, I don't think nothing kind of motivates that feeling of that, like scoring a goal. And it's even better if you do it yourself. 238 times. Is that, is that what it was? It roughly, yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs>